Dunk Diaries is a collection of the best dunkers at every level, showing you what it takes to make the best dunks of all time. This is what you don't see about dunk. My name is Connor Barth. I'm 6'4", and I'm a relatively new dunker. I've only been doing it for like a year and a half. My earliest dunk memory is my first dunk. It was like in high school. I used to go work out every morning before school, and my dad was the coach there for the girls' team, and I bet him that I could dunk, and I spent about an hour trying, and I finally made one, just barely squeaked it in, and he wasn't watching. So then it took me like another month to actually show him. 16 months ago, Connor, like I didn't know who he was, but then I saw a video of him. He's just throwing the ball off the back wall and just like punching windmills, doing like 360s off the back wall. And it's like, this is actually like pretty dope. And I think that's like kind of what got him going. A couple people posted him and then there it goes from there. I always knew that I had potential, but when I really realized I could be a pro dunker was last year at the dunk camp. I did really well and I wasn't expecting to be as good as I was and it just really opened my eyes. I can do this if I just try. Connor has like a right left style that's a lot different when it comes to jumping. He is just like so powerful and he floats man. Like he just has like his own thing. He doesn't jump like anybody else does. The best moment I've had so far dunking is when I hit a crown at dunk camp. It's when you put both your elbows in the basket, but behind your head. The thing that surprised me about Connor during his dunk session, he's legit. Like his head is at the rim every time and he punches the hell out of the ball. His power in his dunks and just like his style, when he dunks with his right hand, he like dunks the hell out of it and he doesn't want to hit himself in the face. So every time if you like show the replay, he's putting his face out of the way so he's not knocking himself out with the ball. And then he, there was one that stuck out and it happened in the beginning. He just walked up casually, went behind the back, and just punched it left-handed. It was just so like nonchalant, so chill, and he just punched it. My signature dunk is the win off the wall. The win is when you have the ball bounce and it goes under your leg while you're in the air, but you don't use your front hand to push it through, and then you're only catching it with one hand on the back side of your leg. No one else has done it yet. It's only been done once and that was me. I haven't done it since then either. My holy grail dunk, there's a couple, but um, a 360 win off the wall and then the bounce dunk is one of them. The dunker I respect the most is probably Jordan Kilgannon and his passion for it and how just obsessed he is with it is contagious and I mean that's why he is so good. The dunker that Connor reminds me of is the guy that I grew up with it was a guy, Tim Lowe, and this is like early Team Flight Brother days, and they're both just like goofy guys. Like you'll walk next to them and they just look clumsy, then all of a sudden they plant their feet and jump out the building. So my short-term goals when it comes specifically to dunking is getting physically totally healthy. I train six days a week, lots of like flexibility, things like that. Um, my long-term goal is not to be the best dunker, but to be the highest jumping dunker that there's been. Um, I wanna do a legit shoulder hang on 10 feet without a pull-up, so 55-inch vert is what I need for that. Goals I have for Connor, I'd like to see like some consistency with a few of his dunks, and I'd like to see like him get like kind of pissed off, like get that edge or that chip on his shoulder to see him like be better than the next person, because. He has idols that are friends. I'd like to see him get like kind of mad and want to beat them in a contest. Two years from now, I see myself having done the shoulder hang and having about a 54, 55 inch running vert. And then from there, I just want to help Duncan grow more on the actual business side of things. And I'm just trying to make people realize that Duncan is a sport and it is its own thing and I'm going to do it.
Hey guys, thanks for watching my dunk diary. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. Also follow Team Flight Brothers and subscribe to them. You can find me on Instagram at, at @basketbarth or at @athletictruthgroup.